The tragic numbers are in. Official overdose numbers for 2020 were 40 percent higher than the year before. And fentanyl was to blame for 70 percent of the overdoses. WRL's Laura Leslie looks into the work being done to raise awareness about this issue. Laura? Lena, the CDC now says that fentanyl overdose is the leading cause of death in the U.S. for adults between 18 and 45, yet you don't hear a lot of discussion about that. <clears throat> well, Wendy Thomas is trying to change that one school at a time, but she says she needs help. More than 3,300 people in North Carolina died of overdoses in 2020. Health officials say fentanyl was likely to blame in 70% of those deaths. And that includes and we Wendy Thomas's bench. son, Matthew. He was just 20 years old. He loved to fish and hike, anything outdoors. He went to Apex to hang out with some friends one summer day. He had bought some Percocet, is what we were told. And when I talked to the, toxico the toxicologist, the um, Emmy, she said that he just had fentanyl in his system. Fentanyl is a cheap, incredibly potent, and incredibly addictive narcotic. Thomas says it's being cut into cocaine and pressed into pills to pad the profits of drug cartels. Even a small amount can be deadly. When they mix up that fentanyl and they make the pills, they know there's a certain number of, pe number of people who are going to die. And they don't care. They just want to make money. So, you know, Matthew's life was a cost of doing business, and that also motivated me to do something about it. Thomas started a nonprofit called Matthew's Voice. She goes to schools here in Lee County and talks to students about her son and the drug that killed him. She's also writing a curriculum unit for ninth graders. She says the state should be doing a lot more to educate people. I, I can only do so much as a mom and as an advocate. We need a, a PSA at the state level. We need a PSA at the national level. The kids who are dying are the teenagers. They're the 20 somethings and they need to be reached and they're not. I asked her why she thinks the problem hasn't gotten more attention. And I think it's because they think that the, the people are doing it to themselves and they're not. They're not asking to buy fentanyl. Should they be doing what they're doing? No, but they're also not asking to die. And the problem is only getting worse. Preliminary 2021 data shows 3,900 North Carolinians died of drug overdoses last year. That's 10 people a day. That's up 26% over 2020. Back to you. Matthew's life was the cost of doing business, sent chills up my spine, just devastating.